Hello everyone, this is Hi Mr. Smiles. Thank you for watching, and today I've got a big announcement. Riot Games is putting out a new roguelike game. Watch to the end to get all the details. Excellent announcement, which made me so happy, I decided to just go out and record a video, which means this video is not gonna have a single edit. In case you don't know... I, I don't know about you guys, but I think that was at least one edit. Riot Forge is a publisher under Riot Games. These guys team up with already existing game studios to make games using League's IP, which is... Okay, okay, so it's not Riot Games directly, but uh, they are involved. This is why this is so amazing to see. Riot essentially decided to just cut off their lore. It's been 8 months since we got the last non-champion related story, and almost 5 months since the last story related to a new champion. So it seems like Riot is pretty much done telling stories through walls of text. Which is why it is so cool to see Riot Forge still going forward so strongly. Especially since the point of Riot Forge is to tell stories from the League universe yeah. without using League. Because League of Legends is a horrible tool to tell stories. Yeah, a MOBA is not exactly the best way to get the stories across for these cool characters. Yeah, not exactly. Anyway, let's talk about what actually happened. We got a trailer. Now, when this trailer starts, you may... And we do like trailers. You notice that it looks very similar to the Call cinematic. I wonder if this is Riot Forge poking fun at the cinematic we got this year. But it's more likely because it's Riot Forge, and so they are forging the new games. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take the puns. If it's a Riot game, let's go. It's still exciting. Anyway, Willem then knocks up the shards, which reveals the new games. The first one revealed is Song of Nunu. This is a game we've known about for a while now. We already... Yeah, there was a trailer a long time ago for this game, so it would it would be nice if it actually came out. We saw some of the gameplay and some of the trailers. It is a game that is gonna take us into the Freljord, where it will likely deal with the story of Nunu's family as well as some shenanigans with Lissandra. Song okay. of Nunu is made by Tequila Works, which is a developer that made adventure games in the past, namely Rhyme and Guilt. Mm. So this seems to be their take. So that's a, I mean, they've got a good pedigree then. They, they know their adventure games. Take on an adventure game using League's IP. The important part is that we learned that this game is coming out this year in fall. Originally, this game nice. was supposed to be released last year. In fact, Riot accidentally released the game release bundle of skins <laughs> in League. So Whoops. in the past, it did already have a set release date. But this game was delayed a few times so that Riot Forge could make sure this game was really good, which definitely sparks up confidence. Yeah, I mean, I think delays are not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, it can be perceived as like, I don't know, the, the, the studio or whatever was not prepared or, you know, things kind of went crazy. So you could you could kind of you could kind of get the feeling that you shouldn't have confidence, but in my opinion, that actually boosts my confidence because, okay, they knew that they had things get a, get a little out of hand and, and they got behind and they're being honest with the audience and not putting out a crap game. They're delaying so that the game is good. I think that's a good thing. And so finally, in fall 2023, we'll get to play Song of Nunu. About After time. This, the trailer showed Convergence. This is also a game about which we have known about and of which we do have some gameplay. It is oh yeah, I forgot about that game. I remember, yeah, I remember hearing about this game too. That's right. The Echo game, okay. It's a 2D platformer made by Double Stallion. Of course, Double Stallion are the devs who made Speed Brawl, which is why it seems like Convergence will be a fast-paced platformer. Yeah. will focus on Echo and his tiny little time machine. Besides the last gameplay trailer we got, here we actually got to see some new footage. Nice. Like perhaps that first boss? <laughs> it does seem to be a bit too jacked up for a normal goon. So who knows, maybe this is gonna be a future Cam Baron. Also, I nice. believe that some of these shots are gonna be parts of cinematics. Unless they become the release trailer. Unfortunately, I never played Speed Brawl, so I don't have to context as to... I also never played Speed Brawl, but uh, if it's a fast-paced like action platformer i've played those before so you, you kind of get the idea what the gameplay could be like I, I should probably do that soon 
And the important info here is that this game is coming out in the summer of 2023. Oh, so it's only like four months away. That's cool. So we're gonna play this before Song of Nunu. And lastly, we got a brand new reveal. The ma Okay. This is what we came for, the Mage Seeker. All right, let's hear about it. Mage Seeker, a Damasian pixel art game about Silas. All right. Okay, I said new, but a few weeks ago, there was a bit of a leak. People found the trademark for this game got locked down, which was revealed publicly. Anyway, this oh. one will be interesting because it is... Oopsie. It is likely that this will be a roguelike game. Past Riot Forge work was always an evolution of an already existing game. Hextech Mayhem was made by the creators of BitTrip Runner, okay. which Hextech Mayhem was based upon. Ruined King was an evolution of Battle Chasers, both made by a studio called Airship Syndicate. Okay. And now Song of Nunu seems to be an evolution of Tequila Works adventure games. Convergence seems to be an evolution of Speed Brawl, which now I see, means I see. that since the Mage Seeker is developed by Digital Sun, who made an excellent roguelike called Moonlighter. Ah, interesting. Okay. With Moonlighter being a roguelike about you having a shop, which means you go out and kill monsters and get items. It's a, it's a, it's a cool roguelike game. But that would mean that Silas is also getting a roguelike game. Okay. Which is something totally new for us. Previously, all Riot Forge games were finite. You pretty much finish them and then you're done. Yeah, if yeah. If you want something that lasts longer, you have to go to the live games. Right. But a roguelike could counter that. It is a genre known for replayability. Yeah, that's right. That makes sense. Okay, okay. So, yeah. They're they're kind of tipping the scale here and some of their side games are being made into things that could be I don't know, become someone's main game. So this could be the first Riot Forge game that might get pushed forward with more updates in the future. That's However, cool. However, remember I like that it. none of this is confirmed. We don't actually know if it is a roguelike game, so I'm just guessing here. Right, it's all conjecture. They're just it's just guesses, but it seems it seems like a safe guess based on the history of this developer. Also remember, Riot Forge is all about telling stories and roguelikes are not really the best at doing that. Yeah, yeah, especially he was just talking about how the main games they, they know are not really great for telling stories, right? League of Legends, you can't really tell a story. It's a five on five, you get in there and you fight the other team. There's not really a chance for a story. But with these side games, they're they're basically set up for telling stories if it's an RPG, an, an arcade like action game with story segments, cutscenes or whatever. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. The roguelike, yeah, it doesn't really fit for telling stories, but maybe. Unless maybe. you want to talk about Hades, which is something I'm going to talk about in a future video. Yeah. Hello, this is me from like two hours in the future. I also want to point out that we now have some descriptions of the game. Okay. And it seems like every site everywhere, including some official sources, are describing this game as an action RPG. There are no... Ma action RPG. I would accept that. That sounds fun. And and there you go. That's the that's the story elements right there. RPGs are all about the story. Mentions of roguelikes anywhere. And I feel if it was a roguelike, it would probably be a strong thing to mention at the beginning. So right now I am still holding on to my dream that this is gonna be a roguelike, but it can actually be just a story-driven RPG as well. Okay. But again, looking at the history of Riot Forge games and how they evolve their past games, I really want this to be a Silas roguelike. Anyway, now into the past. Or like two hours into the past. Anyway, since this is the first time we got to see the Mage Seeker in action, let's have a look at what's in the trailer. Yeah, first, let's see we it. we see Silas fighting someone from the Demacian Dauntless Vanguard. But it seems like that soldier is being shielded by a mage. Which also means that this game is probably gonna point at some of the hypocrisy. There is also All this right. first beast which makes me think that this game is gonna happen in a prison. If it is a roguelike game, I would love to see Silas trying to escape the Demacian prison again. Yeah, that's a cool backstory. That would be sick. And, and again. And this frosty thing could be just one of the beasts the Demacians captured. Which reminds me, in the canon story, 
Silas escaped, then he traveled north to the Freljord to get some allies. But then we technically never learned what happened to Silas after he decided to march back south onto the Damasians. So maybe this could be continuation of his story as well. Good opportunity. We got a cinematic, but that cinematic never got a conclusion. So what if Silas got captured again? And now in this game he is trying to escape for the second time. That would be cool. Anyway, moving on, we can then see one of the camps with a mage in it. This would line up with some of the camps Silas built the first... That mage looks really pathetic. If that's a mage, oh boy, that's sad. ...first time he escaped. All the mages who wanted to start a revolution lived around the Masia in these little camps. In the next shot we can see Silas fighting a... Dauntless Vanguard Helm. It could be possessed by magic, because it is made out of petricide, so it is constantly absorbing magic. But it could also be a piece of Kale's statue. Okay. And lastly, in the bottom corner, we can see that he is fighting some of the Demacian Rangers. And the big piece of information here is that this game is coming out in spring 2023. It's coming out in like a month? No way. This is insane! So this is gonna be the first game we get to play. All right! You can also point out that this game got its own website now! With nothing in it. But there you, you go. Silas dance around. And that's it for this update from Riot Forge. We still- That's awesome. That's pretty exciting. Riot Games, or should I say Riot Forge, busy. Hard at work putting out these side games for us to enjoy in the Riot universe. I gotta be honest, I'm pretty excited. Well, if you made it to the end, folks, thank you so much for watching. Please like the video, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you next time.